Hello to everyone. This is a demonstration of the successful iPhone 5C hardware NAND mirroring process. You can see a sample iPhone on the left, and in order to succeed, we first need to get access to the NAND memory storage. For that, the iPhone needs to be opened, and the process is well described on the internet. So I will show you the uh, result of uh, opening the iPhone, and you can, after unscrewing the main board, you can remove it from the enclosure. Then the shield needs to be removed if hot air gun. So on one side there's a system on chip A6, and on the other side there's a NAND memory storage, and that NAND mem memory storage needs to be dissolved if hot air gun. And once you dissolved it, you can then sold it to a connector so they, that you can plug and unplug it from the iPhone. Uh, then it needs to be eavesdrop on the communication in order to figure out how to talk to the NAND memory storage. And this is the setup that was used for that. And the iPhone uses undocumented proprietary communication protocol and therefore logic analyzer was used to work out what commands need to be sent. For the NAND mirroring process, this um, intermediate board and logic analyzers are not needed, so I will remove this board. And this is the original chip from the sample iPhone. So the next step is to create the clone of the original NAND memory storage so that we can safely try multiple passcode attempts without uh, fear to damage the original storage. So for that um, test board was used and the whole process of uh, creating a clone takes about one and a half hour so I will only show what this process involves. So there's a specially written software that takes care of moving the data from the original chip to another chip and those NAND memory chips could either be taken from a non-working iPhones or you can buy those chips on eBay, on Alibaba, on AliExpress. So when I start the software it first erases blocks in the destination chip and then it writes back any data which are present in the original chip. Once the process of um, cloning is finished, we can test the clone chip in the original iPhone. For that we need to wait until the iPhone boots. And that takes about 30 seconds. Now we can enter various passcode attempts. So let's try from 0001, incorrect, 0002, 0003, 0004, 0005. Now there's a short delay introduced. And when we try for the sixth time, iPhone is locked for one minute. Now we need to power it down. Um, we have to wait until the power is removed from the NAND storage so it's safe to remove it. I can take it off and I put it back into the cloning setup and I will use exactly the, the same copy of the data to to see whether I can try entering the passcode again. 
Boot it. Again, we have to wait until the boot process is finished. And now I'll try temp number 7, number 8, number 9, 10, 11. Now small delay is introduced. And that's another 6 attempts until the phone is locked. And now I can power it down and because I can create as many clones as I want I can repeat that process many many times until the correct passcode is found okay now it's safe to remove the chip and now we can repeat the process All the details are published in the paper, um, which is available online, and you can access my web page or send me an email if you want to clarify any details. Thank you.